Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Harden again with the latest writing tip for academic writing. Uh, I write, or I, I teach in a, a multiplicity of, of Christian institutions, and often I teach individuals that are uh, going into the ministry and are preparing to be preachers uh, of the Word of God. But also I'm a counseling professor, so and a psychology professor, so I have to keep my foot in both worlds. And one of the things I repeatedly see in these kinds of institutions with these kind of majors, these kind of students, with these backgrounds, is that they will approach an academic paper uh, almost as if they would a sermon. And what I see is, is I see a lot of sermonizing and preachiness, and a lot of times it's heavy on that and it's light on uh, argumentation and a logical expression and, and putting forth of ideas. Remember, you're trying to, in an academic paper, it's not about you and it's not about simply moving the emotions of the individual. It's actually about furthering a conversation. So the idea here is when you write an academic paper, you're contributing to a conversation. You're not proselytizing necessarily. Uh, that could be a byproduct, depending on how good your argument is. But the focus is more on stirring the emotions. I mean, not the emotions, stirring or stimulating the thinking or the logic of the argument, and less on stirring the emotional experience uh, to, to bring a person to a point of response. Uh, you've got to remember, in academic writing, we're trying to d develop and discover new knowledge and apply that new knowledge uh, for practical living, uh, things in living. Uh, and so uh, stirring the emotions will only take you so far. You've got to bring the goods with, with an academic paper. And as such, uh, don't, preach to, don't preach to your audience when you write an academic paper. Let the logic itself... See, sometimes the reason we do that, by the way, is it's a whole lot easier to get someone's emotions stirred up than it is to really think through, hey, what's been said about this subject? What are the problems that I see with what's been said? And how do I propose a path forward that would help solve this problem or move us toward the solution of the problem? It takes a lot more uh, really thoughtful reflection to get something like that accomplished. So, so remember, you're not giving a sermon. So, so the idea is you're furthering a conversation, uh, not trying to convert individuals to a particular viewpoint necessarily. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I love interacting with you there. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.